your presiding opening presiding officer of this meeting so today it's our joint meeting uh, of rato bangladesh muscle club and a uh, whirling club so talking about the history on Toastmaster International, it was, um, it was originated in California by Ralph Smedley in the year 1942. And the main aim for uh, opening this club was to develop communication skills of young men who were under his charge. And our SAA has already stated the mission, I mean, mission statement of our uh, club. I'll be moving forward in welcoming our guest. I guess we all are <laughs> those masters of two clubs. And I would like to also acknowledge our, uh, acknowledge our presence of our <laughs> area director, uh, Toastmaster Saroj. And today's session is a bit special because it's not just our regular meeting, but it, our Toastmaster Saroj is going to conduct an educational session on team collaboration. And the theme, as we all know, we all have theme in our Toastmaster meeting. So today's theme is spring. Uh, butterfly, butterfly, which colors do you like? And our Toastmaster of the day is Toastmaster Sumnima. So, Samani, Samani, Samani. Sorry, sorry about that. So I would before I hand over the floor to our Toastmaster of the evening, I'd like to introduce her. Toastmaster Sam Samani. Samani is branch manager and professional contributor at KFA Business School. She loves to navigate new places, loves uh, spending time with her friends and family, and she also enjoys cooking and she enjoys different kinds of music. So I'd like to hand over our floor to the Toastmaster of the evening. Thank you, Toastmaster Susanna, uh, for the introduction. It is my pleasure to serve as a Toastmaster evening uh, today's session. And also, I will try my best to and live in the momentum of this Toastmaster session. Uh, before introducing the theme of the session, I must say that uh, our theme is already revealed, but there is uh, suspense in my theme that I will reveal later on. Before uh, going with that, uh, I'll uh, try to uh, I'll try to explain the uh, session. Our session into three part. First session is prepared speech and second session will continue with toast, uh, table topic session and third one is feedback session. Now I will ask general evaluator to come over for the, uh, to take over the session. Teacher at Rato Bangla School also teacher educator at Rato Bangla Foundation, limited past president of Rato Bangla Toastmaster and PQD of Division B, Toastmaster Neva Mananda. Toastmaster Neva Mananda. Thank you Toastmaster Neva Samani. Good evening fellow Toastmasters and there's my guest today. Okay, so I'm the general evaluator for today's meeting. As you all know, it's a joint meeting between Rathamonga and uh, World Wing Toastmasters Club. And likewise, uh, this meeting is divided into three parts. My role is also divided into three parts. One is to... Uh, uh, one is to introduce the evaluators for the meeting. Two is to uh, call upon the tag team, the, in the indirect role takers. Um, uh, for their report and uh, the last one, the third one will be my uh, part of the evaluation where I will be giving uh, the evaluation for the overall meeting. 
So to help me with my role, I have uh, my tag team here uh, with me and I would like to introduce them one by one. So our timer for today's meeting is Toastmaster uh, Srijana Moharjan. She is currently working as a grade 5 teacher in Akshara School and also doing her master's level in Kathmandu University of School of Education. So I'd like to ask uh, Toastmaster Srijana to highlight her role as a timer. Thank you, General Manager. My role for today's meeting is to time uh, the table topic speakers and the future speakers and also the uh, evaluators. So uh, in the daily topic session, uh, we will have one minute in one minute green color and yellow minute, yellow card in one minute and half, one and a half minute, and one minute and 30 seconds, and update in two minutes. And in the uh, evaluation session, we have four minutes in green color and four and a half minutes in yellow color and five in red uh, flag, uh, five minutes in red flag. and. In uh, general speaker, that is the general, that is the feature speaker. We have five minutes. Uh, green green card and yellow card is in uh, six minutes and red in seven minutes. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And now we have our R counter to Master Pravesh. Uh, so he's a data che uh, <coughs> chef at uh, Worldlink. <coughs> Worldlink. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, and is an um, active member, I, I believe, in Worldly Toastmasters Club. And uh, he loves traveling. Nature is his cross, and art is his passion. And would love to hear about your role as our author today. Thank you, General Evaluator. Greetings, fellow Toastmasters and guests. The purpose of the encounter uh, is to note words and sounds that are used as a crux or pause filler by anyone who speaks. During the meeting, I will listen to, I will listen for overused words, including and well, but, so, and you know. I will also listen for filler words, including o, oh, um, er. I will also note when a speaker repeats a word or phrase such as I, I, or this means, this means. At the end of the meeting, I will report the number of times that each speaker used these expressions. Thank you. Over to you, General Evaluator. Thank you, Toastmaster. As grammarian, we have our Toastmaster Margaret, who is a teacher at Ratabongla School and uh, an active member at Ratabongla Toastmasters Club. And I would like to ask her to highlight her role as grammarian. Thank you, Toastmaster Nida. Uh, I'm here today as the grammarian, and my role is to take close attention, pay close attention to the language used in the meeting today. Everyone to speak, and any wrong uses or any good phrases or words used. And I was also responsible to get the word of the day. And the word of the day today is in eleven. The meaning is to make uh, cheerful, to make it more lively or cheerful. And the uh, example is, the ambience of this room has been enlivened by the decoration of butterflies and uh, flowers on the whiteboard. And I would like to encourage all members to try to use the word of the day. And whenever anyone uses the word of the day, please give the thumbs up. Uh, I think that's it. And as ballot counter, we have Toastmaster Suji Casey, who is HR at Worling. Uh, to introduce him, he is fond of music, travel, and making new friends. Kind of a guy who recommend, uh, recommend and live the life at its fullest. Uh, thank you, My role uh, as a board counter is I will be collecting the uh, collecting and counting the uh, ballots on this. Okay. Uh, when the audience votes for the best speaker, best table topic speaker, best evaluator, and the best of the big three, the big three are the Toastmaster, <coughs> table topic master, and the general evaluator. I record the person winning in each category. I will not cast my ballot myself, except in the case of tie, in which, uh, in which case I will cast a vote to break the tie. I will not announce a tie vote. Uh, place your vote in one of these countries. Sorry. I will be coming. For your evening, I will be coming around and uh, you can start the vote on this box. <coughs> I 
at the end of the meeting, I will announce and award uh, certificates to the winners of the boards. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Sasha. Okay, uh, if you have a paper in front of you, you can uh, write up the name of the the ones who you think you want to vote, and then you can give it to the ballot counter. Otherwise, you can write the paper, I actually. <laughs> okay, uh, without doing further ado, to enliven the meeting, I would like to call upon our uh, sailor of the ship today, Toastmaster Saman. Over Thank you, Toastmaster Niva. That uh, that was really short and sweet introduction of all our tag team. We all know that our spring season has already started, isn't it? Uh, the season is start from March till May, and most of uh, all, spring season is all about colorful flowers obviously butterflies and blooming flowers with the winds. So we all love spring seasons. And top of that, spring is also about the trekking seasons. Well, I'm not talking about anything about the trekking, but hummingbirds and juicy fruits, we all love uh, this about the spring seasons. So, Spring is uh, not only about that, but it's also about the growth and revenues. And my fellow Toastmaster is looking at me and I can see some frowns on their <laughs> forehead also when I'm talking about the revenue and growth. But <laughs> spring is also about the uh, new hopes because uh, after a um, winter season, everything gets dry and spring brings hope in our life with this season. Spring also teaches us uh, about new beginning in our life because uh, nature is uh, our teacher and it helps us to teach something to begin in uh, our life. It, it says, uh, not, I'm sorry. It's uh, better to be late or not than not to be done. So other reason of uh, why spring is delightful is spring has more daylight, spring has more flowers and more time. We can spend more time outside. We can go for a trek and navigate new places. We can spend our time in nature. And other part is uh, birds return from their vacations, so we can uh, spend our time watching birds. Spring makes uh, we us more creative also. This is uh, what I learned from one blog in Mental Health. So spring is the best season to cure ourselves also by being us, uh, by being with nature. So another exciting fact is uh, so growing plant absorbs carbon dioxide. So spring is the best season to uh, to observe vitamin D also. So someday when I could go, go back to my childhood, uh, I feel like I could spend more time in my childhood in spring season. Today I want to recall my childhood uh, memories with you all. When I was in school, I used to make lots of uh, paper craft and spend time with my friends. I used to make paper dustbin. I used to make paper ball. We can blow, uh, uh, we can feel air from this and roses as well. This is my favorite time pass. I, 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 I used to make this kind of flowers also and Cameras. <laughs> I used to play with my friend and travel different places in this kind of airplanes. And this is my new creativity. I just recently learned to make this. 
and my favorite part i used to make both <laughs> i i hope everyone has done these activities before also and the craziest thing is i have this this is my favorite game during my school days <laughs> Butterfly, butterfly, which color do you like? So, so before going with this part, this is my surprise. So I'm going to play this game with you all later on. I would like to put one more story with you all. I mean, I want to say here. One of the craziest thing I wish, used to do in my childhood days during spring is I used to dig the mud and make artificial pool. Um, with some bricks around it so that it looks natural and put some plants so and collect ants from the field and put them all in this boat and put this boat on that artificial pond and sell it with mud stick. So that was one, one of my favorite tasks during my holidays. Before going with this surprise game, I would like to call our Toastmaster Anjana to give our speech on, on judgmental act. And also I would like to call Toastmaster Prozul Tamrakar, her evaluator of her speech. Toastmaster Prozul Tamrakar is international, Mr. International Nepal of 2023, the president of Presidential Toastmaster Club, a visiting faculty of TIA school, a soft skill trainer, a freelancer digital marketer, and a program quality director of Area Division 2. Toastmaster Prozul Tantakar. Thank you, Toastmaster on TV. Today, Toastmaster Anjana is on Anjana 4, Project 1. The purpose for this speech for Toastmaster Anjana is to manage a difficult audience. So beforehand, there have been many disruptors placed in this room. And Toastmaster Anjana will be delivering a 5 to 7 minute speech within 10 to 15 minutes while being disrupted by the audience. So this is one of a kind of a speech and Mainly these types of speeches do not occur normally, so please do not think that all speeches are disruptors and there's laughter and disruptions everywhere. So I'd like to wish Toastmaster Anjana all the best and I hope she enlivens this room with her speech today. Over to you Toastmaster of the Thank you Toastmaster Prabhu. Now I welcome Toastmaster Anjana to give her a speech. Toastmaster Anjana. This morning when I woke up, I ran towards a full-length mirror towards the corner of my room and I started looking at it. Okay, I think uh, we do have some of the sharing from our toast, handsome Toastmasters. Do you also wake up in the morning and look at the mirror early in the morning in your room? I don't have mirror in my room. <laughs> Okay. So that's I fine. In the room and I am very, I wake up at almost eight, nine, so maybe you would love to hear what the ladies do when they look at the mirror in the room. So here comes a surprise and a beautiful story for you. Okay, so uh, the mirror, when I go near the mirror, I just stand and I start staring at my lows. I literally and look at myself and... Okay. So, I may not have the similar talent, but I love to do something else. Maybe you'd be curious to listen to what no. I do. <laughs> okay, so maybe uh, Toastmaster, uh, may I know the name? I forgot. Anup, Anup right? Okay. <laughs> maybe Toastmaster Anup would love to come forward and share what he would love to do in a while. Uh, once I finish delivering my part. So, yes, the floor will be yours in a while. Maybe for one minute, you could speak your part as well. Thank you so much. Okay, so, yes. 
Thank you so much. So while going to the mirror, I always stared. I stared from left, right, and from all the angles. And I questioned myself, do I really look different? Do I really look very much unsimilar? Dear fellow Toastmasters and guests. As good as yes. Okay, thank you. So, when while doing so, it is really different and surprising for me. And I vividly remember a five years old me saying by one of my uncles. And my uncle said, look at you. Oh my God, you do not look at one of us. You have such a long nose. You must be adopted. And dear fellow Toastmasters, yes, maybe it could be relatable, yes. This is relatable for all of you, for all of us. No, we no, all no, have no, our no, own no, unique no, features. No. Yeah, some of you might be happy with what you have, but I was not happy and I was quite skeptical of like what I do look like or what people might think of me. Okay. What is your number tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> so much. So much. Right. Okay, dear fellow Toastmasters. Okay, yes, you can continue with your plan in a while after we are done with the meeting. And I would love to hear your part of story as well for your tomorrow's planning, of course. So, yes, moving forward. Okay, I think uh, Toastmaster Anup, uh, I have a special request for you. Could you help me with my speech for a while? Okay, I would love you to share. Do you want to help? No. I think yes. I'm asking it was master or no. Not interested? I'm very much tired. Oh, maybe you could rest for a while and you can continue your conversation in a while. Oh my God. Even I had the similar. Were you playing game last night? No. I'm sorry. No, what? Were you playing game last night? No. Anything that you are fond of? No? Okay. Then maybe you can sleep early today and wake up fresh tomorrow morning. So you could rest for a while. Okay, that's good. I would love to hear your speech in the upcoming meeting. Thank you so much. So yes, moving ahead. This is really a difficult situation in the world and the world that we live in. It is actually full of different kind of judgmental comments, stereotypes and preconceived notions. And these different kind of judgments that the people make, that the people do, do have a long effect in the people's life. And this is not going to affect the people as an individual, but this is going to affect people, the entire society and the entire community. And last week, I was scrolling down my mobile phone. Uh, how many of you do love to read the news in the phone itself? Please raise your hands if you do so. Yes, the technology has changed and people, they love to read news on the mobile. So last week, while I was scrolling down. Okay, Toastmaster. Sure, sure, of course, yes. Okay, brilliant. So you are a foodie person as well. I do love your energy, not just the news, you are having your breakfast with the news. That's awesome. I would love to try that as well. Not with the oil, of course. Okay, so yes, moving further, judgments are there everywhere all around us and different people, they prefer different types of things. And yes, I while scrolling down my mobile phone last week, I got really surprised to one of the news uh, topic that I got on my phone that said Ashura Rai gets brutally trolled for her appearance in the Paris Fashion Week. And Ooh. while reading further, oh, oh my God. <laughs> yes, oh my God. of course, <laughs> she is she wow. is a beautiful I lady. Oh, I love to see that. Maybe you could take a picture and send it to us. Let's no, see how no, big no, fan no, you no, are. No, 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 no. Oh, that's sad. That's fine. Maybe you could together go for a shopping of a poster and have it on your wall. Okay, so yes. It's dangerous now. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, moving further. Uh, while reading the news, you you might love to hear the comments. What the uh, users or what the fans of Ashwarya Rai has to say for her? Okay, so one of the user. Oh, that's not the scenario. One of the user penned by saying, "Oh my God, look at her! She does not have any makeup on her face." And another user penned, "Oh my God, her face looks so overfilled." While the third user commented, "She has really grown old." See, after looking and after listening to all these comments, yes, yes. of course. <laughs> exactly, you're right. So yes, that is not, of course, what the people they expect. All of us have our own opinion, and it's a pleasure to hear your opinion as well. Yes, after listening to this news, I literally had my hands on my face and I sat down by thinking how cruel this world is. Who is actually randomly judging people without knowing their true story? And of course, I'm so thankful that I am not a celebrity. Wow, but we do have a celebrity over here, and we would love to listen to your song in a while. Of course, after the meeting. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Let's see. We will be able to manage. Of course, it's Toastmasters, and it's a wonderful platform for all of us. Thank you so much, and I'm really glad to be in, giving my speech in front of all these talented people. Wow. Okay. So yes. But I'm glad that I'm not a celebrity, and thank you. And I really am surprised to see all of these things, all of the news and all of the information that is going on the media. But these kind of news and information actually made me relate with my own life experience, where I am also. Uh, got I have also got a lot of judgments, and I have been in a lot of these kind of situations in my life. And one major judgmental act happened in my life a lot of times, a lot of moments in my life, and it has become my habit to actually get confirmation from my family members, even to buy a smaller thing in my life. And dear Toastmasters, you may not believe it, but I. I love toast. What thing I probably say that? And you are the master of toast. Okay, toast. Fine. That also later after the meeting maybe. So one of the these kind of information are really very crucial in our life. And yes, the judgments are everywhere. As I have said, I always go for the confirmation with my family members. And yes, I was about to reveal one special thing about me. But may not be special. Uh, I, me, I have never worn. I don't know whether you believe or not. I have never worn a dress shorter than my knee length. Any guesses why? The right is too low. You need to find one. <laughs> okay, that may not be the situation. But I was always scared and skeptical of the judgments that my family would make, and I was always scared of the judgments that I might receive from them. And yes, another major judgmental act. Now the second one that happened in my life that changed my perspective towards the life forever. I actually had to drop my decision. Okay, that actually had to drop my decision of pursuing my higher education at the time when I had my daughter because my own mother she was against my decision and she told me. Oh, you will not be able to do so. You will not be able to actually. Okay, uh, my dear Toastmasters, thank you so much. Uh, maybe you can disconnect your Bluetooth with it, and you can attend your phone call. Uh, of course, you can have your time if, like, uh, you need to attend it. But let's keep our mobile in the silence mode, Absolutely. as our SAA has already informed about it. Thank you so much. Okay, you are a wonderful Toastmasters. I really like the way you have noted down the information said by the SA. So yes, moving further, moving further, a lot of disruption, a lot of judgments in our life, and then that has really changed our life forever. 
Of course, now till date also, I do receive a lot of judgmental comments. And just recently, today, I received one of the comments from one of my friends who talked about my health, who talked about my physical appearance. And of course, uh, Toastmaster Anup is the best example of the fitness. Uh, Toastmaster Anup, would you like to would you like to add on to what we are talking about? We are really impressed with your fitness. So would you please stand and share what is the secret of your fitness? <laughs> the secret of your fitness. <laughs> you okay? Maybe. Uh, if I, you, if I would say, those, okay, <laughs> okay, maybe you will understand this. Maybe you will understand this. A toastmaster, Anu, you are so handsome. Did you get it? No. <laughs> okay then. <laughs> okay, toastmaster, Anu, you are handsome than toastmaster Saroj. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> then maybe we can uh, talk about this later in Nepali in a while. Oh my god, so many responsibilities, but I'll do it, don't worry. So yes, the judgments are everywhere and we really need to be careful whenever we are dealing with it. As I was talking about my physical appearance, the comment that I received just today, I met a friend and when the friend came near me, the friend had a different expression. She was saying, oh my God, Rato Bangla has... Thank you so much. Rato Bangla is too sexy. Could be said. Uh, okay, I do have an offer for you. Maybe you can visit the school. We can allow or we can look into it for some uh, discounts. Of course, we do have that provision. <laughs> if you okay, yes, uh, If you will uh, have patience. If you would allow me to share my friend's story for a while, then obviously you will, I guarantee you that you will get 10% of the scholarship for your children. Two less. Two less? Okay, I'll, I'll think more about it. I might increase the percentage, but kindly allow me to share my story. Okay. Seriously, seriously. Because he has two sons. Twins. Seriously, 50% Really? Is it twins? Oh, so sorry. I, we can just afford for one child. Twins <laughs> might be difficult for us. <laughs> we'll think about it. We'll think about it. We'll think about it. Okay. So let me share my story. I think uh, all of us might like the story. So let's listen to this. And many of you might have faced this situation in your life as well. As I could see a lot of people here uh, with whom I can resemble. May not be the no long nose, of course. It could be a different scenario. Okay, my friend actually talked about my physical appearance and she was saying, you have really grown healthier at Raka Bangla. So that was really a difficult well, yeah. part for me to answer. But yes, we have to take it positively and move forward in our life as we are and take the judgments in a positive way. Thank you so much. Over to you, Tim. Toastmaster. Thank you. Wow, that was really a good, good, good intake by Toastmaster Anjana on those mental labs, isn't it? <clears throat> While preparing my speech and my role today morning, I recall my uh, childhood memories and one favorite song that I used to listen in Radio Nepal. Uh, in Radio Nepal, I hope uh, most of us have heard that in our childhood days. This song uh, relates with this butterflies, butterflies, which come to life. So let's hear this song for a moment and enliven our childhood memories. Ahajani, ahajani. 
This was the song, and I took participate in my nursery class, and I gave a stage program on this song. Thinking about the old old days, uh, living those moment on one time with full of smile and visualizing our wonderful days is always cherished moment in our life. Now let's move on the next session with the table topic session, and I like to invite Toastmaster Saroj Tamrakar for this session. Toastmaster Saroj Tamrakar. Thank you Toastmaster Saroni. Good afternoon everyone. I think... Where's the hero one? Where's the handsome one? Okay, so... Good evening, uh, good afternoon once again. I am Toastmaster Saro Samraka and I will be conducting the next session. It is going to be a mixture of an education session alongside a table topics as well. Since we have some table topic participants from this club going on to uh, represent Worldlink in the upcoming division contest, we thought we might as well have a small table topic session as well. So for the benefit of the guest, Table topic session is an impromptu speaking session where I, as the table topic master, will be throwing some topics and the speaker will have to come and speak on the spot. The speaker will be allotted one to two minutes. The timer will show green card at one, yellow card at one and a half minute and red card at two minutes. And the speaker will have 30 seconds of grace period to finish their speech. So first I would like to request Toastmaster Punit to come and <laughs> take the first <laughs> topic. <laughs> Toastmaster Punit, your topic is if I had wings. If I had wings, Toastmaster Punit. <laughs> Imagine yourself with wings. What does wings do? It makes you fly. I actually had wings when I was a kid. The wings were my dreams. Using my dreams to fly in this life. I want to give an example from my early childhood. I literally had wings because my dream was to fly. Fly an aeroplane. My dream was to be an be a pilot and not just a pilot of a small airplane just like twin otters i really wanted to fly a boeing 747 i specifically had that in my mind because that was a double decker airplane and only one of a kind at that time as it's it is all about wings since the airplanes fly with the wings their wings the, with the thrust of the air I also had my wings and full of air during my childhood. Later when I grew up, grew old, the wings started to shrink. I started to lose confidence. 
there were many factors most of all there was financial factor and with that my wings started to shrink and slowly i chose another field which was not of my interest but that was my only alternative i request you all with all my experience that you don't let your wings get shrinked because this is only one life and you only have one life to live thank you thank you to master punit i have one more topic anyone anyone from the audience whoever would like to come and speak grab this opportunity please raise your hand and you are more than welcome to do so okay all right so we have um, yes 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 rubina rubina guest rubina welcome thank you your topic is <laughs> following up from that <laughs> speech we see is yolo you only live once yes rubina yeah. you only live once yes all right uh yeah i only live once no i do i <laughs> oh okay let's start with you you only live once right so what do you want to really do in your life i want to achieve many things that i had a dream and i want to make the dream comes true in my life wow now he has pointed the word dream so so for many of us we have that dream for which we are living that life for only once like my fellow punit dai said <laughs> that we only live once actually we tend to have a lot of things in our in our mind in our body in our soul but right now in this very moment you ask yourself that are you really living that life that you really wanted to and yet we are here with so many bits and pieces of our heart self you know that pain you know so many things running in our head but still we are living that life once right now right in this moment and we are trying to smile at each person that we are facing and again if you go back to our sleep like if you really want to go back to your sleep you know there's only that one life where you dream to have to you know to live that one life to be really happy and to have a meticulous dreams maybe yeah maybe i think that's <coughs> the time is over right oh no, it's not okay i don't know what to say because this is my first time experience although um i'm i think i'm trying my best but yeah i am only living once right in this moment and thank you to this whirling dervish masters club because i am living right now right in this moment here and yeah this is my life thank you Yes, uh, Rubina, thank you. Okay, I have one final topic. Whoever wants to take it, please put yourself forward. I highly recommend the guests to participate, or the non-role takers. But the floor is open for anyone to just raise your hand, take this opportunity, and seize it. Dos mas ano Roses are red violets are blue Roses are red violets are blue Dos mas Roses are red violets are blue And I love someone that is you So this was the slogan that we used to say in our in his in his time so we see that roses are red and every time we see a red rose there is some kind of some kind of like love or infatuation feeling that comes along when we see the red red rose and i have always been 
fond of seeing the red rose and that red rose used to be in my hand every time or every day when there is a valentine's day so red roses are red and what the wallets are blue red rose is always a single always a sign of love and with the red rose there comes in my mind a heart shaped picture every time i see the red rose so again roses are red all is are blue thank you <laughs> thank you to all the table topic speakers i would like to request the timer to highlight if all three speakers are eligible for the voting yeah. yes they are fantastic so and i request the ballot master ballot counter to take collect the ballots thank you let's give a huge round of applause to all three speakers they've really enlivened this meeting so now moving forward um, yes we uh, put it down as an education session but i will uh, make it you know uh, it's more like a fun session rather than an education session we i hope that you guys will learn something out of it so well that, that is the reason why we call it education session the next session that is going to be is all about team collaboration i have a small game for all of you so um Let's begin this game. Um, just going to point out three colors. Um, primary colors. I have put them down as yellow, red, and blue. Since we have very few people here, I would like everyone to participate. So all of you have three choices: red, yellow, blue. What's your favorite color? Uh, think about it. Put it in your head. Yes, done. You can only choose one color out of the three: yellow, red, and blue. done okay <laughs> did everyone get a color yes. yes okay fantastic so these are the three teams yellow red and blue you are blue you are green red <laughs> and you are yellow you know where teams are okay okay i'm going to tell you what we're going to do now since We all have been divided into three teams. As for the colors, team red. I'm going to give out a couple of materials to team red, and some materials to team team blue, and some materials to team. Who is the other one? Yellow. Okay, team yellow. Okay um so let's make it equal so we have five here five there and six here so i would like to request the g to come and help me out yes. now four so there's five of you here okay. please sit there so now what so now we have five people in each team i have given you a couple of materials they all are different and these are some random pictures that i just printed out just an hour ago so these are the materials you have the piece of paper with you you can use this materials to create a story you got to create a story as per the materials that you have is going to be a team work i'm going to let you guys discuss for uh okay 7 minutes okay i'll time 7 minutes and G, the ge will time you all so here's the here, here's the task you got to create a story using that materials you have right you can use that piece of paper if you want uh, if you need help you know making the story you can use this uh, glue stick and a uh, stapler right the most important thing is the story should have a <laughs> a conclusion or a lesson <coughs> the story should have a lesson you all have 7 minutes to work in a team and i'm going to pick randomly name of one person from each team and that person will have to come and share the story 
So your time starts now. <laughs> Let's 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 uh, let's go back to our normal formation. Ready, ready. Okay, which team would like to go first? Which is red? This is red. All right. So these are the five people from Team Red, and now I request the GE to. Select any name from Team Red. Timer, please time the speaker. <laughs> One to two minutes. <laughs> we also need to mock or No, you, you can you'll do everything. <coughs> Thank you, Mr. Master Saras. Okay. Uh, it was the. Show us the story. <laughs> this is our story. It was the time uh, uh, when we were locked inside our house. Uh, you can remember all those memories you made during those times. Uh, uh, that was COVID. So uh, we were uh, wearing uh, masks and uh, enclosed inside our four walls. Uh, we used to sit in front of our laptops, listening to our favorite musics that uh, we had stopped listening to for many years. We finally got the chance to listen to those musics. I think uh, every one of us can relate to that. Uh, and uh, we were and drinking our favorite <coughs> drinks uh, made from cherry. <laughs> we could finally think about uh, Recycling all those uh, wastes that would uh, pollute the environment and uh, and the passion uh, that is also uh, one of my passion that uh, I started sketching and painting. I could do that finally. Uh, paintings of uh, these portraits, paintings of elephants, and uh, doing that. Uh, uh, we could lose track of our time. Uh, uh, it would almost be uh, 2 a.m. Uh, in the midnight and <laughs> we would still be <laughs> painting those elephants and portraits. Uh, and finally, uh, once the portrait is completed, we, we used to use uh, apply glue and clips and uh, stick it in the wall for the memories. So the message is uh, follow your passion because YOLO. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Grossmaster Pramesh. What a fantastic message. Follow your passion because YOLO. Okay, let's move on to the second team. Who would like to go second? Yellow. Yellow. Okay, so once again, I have a couple of names. From that team, and <laughs> okay, Toastmaster Spriti. Thank you. Okay, we also had some pictures that we needed to board a storyboard, and we had some pictures of a baby carnival and some. Uh, things like this. So we named the, our story's name is a girl and her dog. Uh, so I like to go with this. A girl who loved her dog very much. So we had a girl who, who was with a dog. So she, we assumed that she loved a dog so much. And one day she went to the carnival. Who doesn't love carnival? We all love carnival, don't we? Even young, even uh, old, middle-aged, everyone loves carnival, right? And while in the carnival playing, uh, she lost her dog. 
because carnival we all know it's a very big thing with tents with uh, amusement park themes and everything she lost her dog uh, like in the movie to be very precise because in the movies we see there is a big melas like carnival is going on and you have your brother or sister get lost so kind of that she lost her dog and she was uh, in a very confused state with hurdles on her mind and e e extremely in the very painful situation like in the chemical reaction so when the chemical burst our head get, we get dizzy so she was like that and then she suddenly remembered she had a pen and paper so she start writing everything erasing about the situation calculating things stuff like that and finally a very kind man who was playing with her ball found her dog and gave it back to her and at the end she was very happy with the moment so with this the message we draw from this story was honesty exists in the world let's try to and live in life with every moment so that's it thank you thank you so much smriti Once again, what a beautiful message, and what was it, Prasanna? <laughs> 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 all, all upside down. <laughs> 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 so, okay, Louis. the final group. Which blue? Which 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 blue? There we go. Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> So without ado, there was a there was a wall, and four friends: magician, director, ma uh, musician, and artist, with waste collector, a person, fifth one. So they were trying to make a movie, and the story was Penguin wearing his shoes, riding a horse. <laughs> They completed the project with a huge celebration of cake and everything. They cut the cake, premiered it, and premiered it with a big, big, big expenses. However, the result, collection, <coughs> the collection, was super flop. <laughs> the moral of the story is: if you want to have a Content, sorry, content is the king and context is the kingdom. So you should have interconnected content for the context to have a good result. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you everyone for participating. I hope it was uh, fun. Those of you who did not get to speak, I hope you will come again in Toastmasters meeting and. Take this stage, take this opportunity, and speak. Those of you who did manage to do that today, kudos to you, and I hope to see all of you soon again. Now, you see why this was called the educational session. It might have been educational, it might not have been educational, but I learned three very important things from these three teams today, and that was educational for me. Was it for you? Yes or no? Yes. You decide for yourself. Okay, and with this, the fun segment is over. And now I would like to hand over the floor back to our Toastmaster of the day to take the meeting from your host. Thank you. That was really exciting educational session for all of us. Now to continue with my session, I've told you that. We will going to play and in living our childish memory. So, instead of Toastmaster, I would like to call you all butterflies. So I will take a name of you and ask your favorite color. And I will share some of the personality behind the color. So let's start the game. I'll not take much time. So butterfly, butterfly, which color do you like? Toastmaster Anu, which color do you like? Black. <laughs> okay. 
Rose Monster on Oops. Choose the color black. Leave me here from personality behind the black color. Black is the perfect color. It reflects their ambition and determination to reach their goals while also embodying a sense of authority and power. Black is associated with strength, confidence, and leadership. They are natural born leaders who are always looking for ways to assert themselves and take charge. So this is the personality behind the black color. So I would like to call butterfly tooth master Provis. Butterfly, butterfly, which color do you like? Blue. Okay. Let me share some personality behind the blue color. Blue is also a perfect color. It reflects their abstract and analytical nature as well as their deep need for independence. I think this match with Toastmaster Provis uh, personality. Um, blue symbolizes knowledge, creativity, and insight, all qualities that are essential for the personality. <laughs> so, let's move on. Butterfly, butterfly, which color do you like? Toastmaster has the blue. Greens are also logical and analytical driven individuals. It is a perfect color to reflect this mission driven mentality. It symbolizes practicality, reliability, and organization's characteristics that are essential part of and of their personality. They thrive in orderly environments where there are clear expectations and guidelines, qualities that are associated with green colors. So I hope this matches with your personality so last but not the least butterfly butterfly which color do you like those uh, butterfly <laughs> <laughs> butterfly punit <laughs> butterfly punit <laughs> <Butterfly unit. laughs> <Butterfly laughs> <unit. laughs> which color do you like <laughs> okay let's see that's a uh, light green <laughs> Okay, yellow. <laughs> yellow. Yellow. Yellow, 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 dirty yellow. Yellow. <laughs> yellow is a warm color. Uh, vibrant people with uh, are often the life of the party. Yellow is a perfect color to capture the energy and enthusiasm. It symbolizes their <coughs> optimistic outlook on life and their strong desire for fun and adventure. Yellow encourages them to be confident in their decisions and embrace life with positive attitude. <coughs> so last, <coughs> I'd like to take last one. Butterfly, butterfly, our guest, Rubina. Which color do you like? White. White? Okay. White perfectly captures the ethereal and compassionate nature of the environment. They are wise and light-hearted individuals who often find solace in quiet simplicity of life. So that is all from my side. Now, let's move on the last session of the day, the evaluation session. So I would like to uh, call general evaluator Toastmaster Niva Mananda. Thank you, Toastmaster Samani. 
We have now come to the main evaluation session of today's meeting. This session is important. Toastmaster Fazil Tamrakar is the Mr. International Nepal 2023, the president of Presidential Toastmasters Club, a visiting faculty at TIA School, a soft skills trainer, a freelance digital marketer, and a program quality director at Area D2. So I'd like to hand over the floor to our evaluator, Toastmaster Fazil. Thank you, Toastmaster Neva. Judgmental act. We could see that Toastmaster Anjana had a great speech today because it was tapping into her own life stories on how she was being picked on for her big nose and sometimes also because of the length of her skirt and all of that. But today, I'm not here to talk about the content. I'm going to talk about how she actually handled today's audience. In Toastmasters, we all are very respectful. And this is one of the unique projects where we can be as brutal as possible. And today, Toastmaster Anjana demonstrated professionalism at a very high level. Even though she was disrupted so many times by Toastmaster Anup, she had a smile on her face. And she just smiled, accepted what Toastmaster Anup had to say, and then went on towards her story. It came to such a point that Toastmaster Anup was disrupting not only Toastmaster Anjana, but everywhere back on the room. And that is what I expect from a great disruptor as well. <laughs> I really loved how Toastmaster Anjana actually pinpointed Toastmaster on so many times, referred many questions, and then put him on the spotlight by highlighting Toastmaster Anup, what would you like to say on this? You have so many things to say, please do share. And Toastmaster Anup is like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> However, Toastmaster Anjana was professional and was pinpointing the disruptors. There are still some key areas that I believe she can improve upon. As Toastmaster Anup and many other disruptors were disrupting the speech way many times, being professional is also important, but being authoritative is as important as being professional. If it goes way to beyond the controllable way, you can actually be a bit strict by saying, thank you for your input Toastmaster Anup, but I think we should tone it down a little because I have to complete my speech. We will talk later on. By showing some level of authority, authority, you can actually shut down the disruptor and continue with your speech. The second improvement is that Toastmaster Anup was not the only disruptor. We could see Toastmaster Sujit who was constantly on his phone. So being a speaker, you have to cater to each and every one of them and whether they are listening or not. If I was in your place, I would pinpointed Toastmaster Sujit as well when he was using the phone to check whether he was listening or not. All in all, it was a great speech today. You handled everything well and I wish you all the best in the future speeches. Back to you, General Ibar. Thank you Toastmaster Pujo for that elaborative and uh, instant feedback that you gave. And which, uh, with each and every word, I felt that, yes, it was it. And that those were the things that we also uh, noticed. And uh, you, uh, you gave your evaluation in such a way that it was taken positively. And uh, you also gave uh, the areas to improvement. The solutions were rightly taken, I guess. Yes, thank you. So moving on, now uh, we've come to the... Uh, second round of the evaluation session where I'll be uh, taking report from our tag team. So I'll be starting with the uh, report from our counter. Thank you, thank you, okay, let me start with my report. Uh, Toastmaster Krishna, uh, no pause speakers, no overused words or repeated phrases. Uh, Toastmaster Susanna. Three uh, pause fillers, no overused words, uh, one repeated phrases, one repeated phrase. To, uh, Toastmaster Samani, seven pause fillers, 
one over this word, two lifted phrases. Toastmaster Niva, uh, ten pause fillers, no reading words, one lifted phrases. Toastmaster uh, Susanna, four pause fillers, no overused words, uh, three repeated phrases. Toastmaster, uh, I didn't catch your name, uh, Grammarian. Margaret. Toastmaster Margaret. Uh, pause fillers, one, no overused words, no uh, one repeated phrase. Toastmaster Suzy, four pause fillers, no overused words. One written phrase. Toastmaster Prazul Tamrakar. No post fillers, no overused words, but one repeated phrase. Toastmaster Andana. Two post fillers, one overused word, no repeated phrase. Toastmaster Saroj. <coughs> no post fillers, no overused words, but one repeated phrase. Toastmaster Rubina. No post fillers, two overused words, no repeated phrase. And finally, Toastmaster Anu, no pause fillers, one overused words, two repeated phrases. Thank uh, what you. do you generate? Thank you for the detailed report that you uh, presented today. Thank you. And uh, moving on to our grammarian. I'd like to present my report. <coughs> As a I noticed that a um, couple of times the word of the day was used, maybe three times by TMOI Zamani, and uh, two times by, I don't know what I'm sure, Postmaster Soros, and once or twice by, I don't know what. <laughs> once or twice, it was not used very often. And everyone used very good language when we were speaking. A few good words and phrases which were used was by the speaker, Anjana, was vividly, just mental comment, pursue my studies. Uh, that I could get. Actually, maybe she would have spoken more, but she could not complete, I feel she could not complete her uh, speech. Too much of disruption was there, <laughs> but I really marvel at how she really carried on, and she was not getting distracted at all. That was really she is a clap for that. <laughs> then a few other good phrases were bits and pieces, bits and pieces of our hearts. Someone used it, and the table topic itself. Roses are red and violets are blue. That's also a good phrase, which uh, the table topic, uh, whoever took, who had taken this. No, no, someone spoke on this. Yeah, He also, yes, this one spoke well on it. And a few uh, misuses were there, like uh, someone said, someday. When you say some, I think it would have been better saying some days. Fans has, instead of fans has, I think it should have been fans have to say. And uh, make dreams comes true. I don't know someone, I just bit. Make dreams comes true would be better phrase as dreams come true. I think that's all that I think. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Um, so I'd like to um, give a few suggestions about the grammarian as well. Uh, you did a, a fantastic job uh, jotting down all the phrases and the words used uh, while giving your report. We don't need to say uh, the, the exact name of the speaker, like who spoke uh, these phrase and that phrase. So we just say these are the words that we uh, words that were used beautifully, or these are the phrases that were used beautifully. And by the way, the word of the day was used most uh, by most of the people in the meeting present here today because we could, uh, you know, we were th giving a thumbs up for every time they used. So I think most of us used. So uh, that was uh, a very uh, 
uh, enlivened word that you used, uh, <laughs> that you chose for today because it was uh, relevant to the meeting uh, theme, so, uh, spring, butterfly, butterfly. Well, <laughs> it it uh, enlivens uh, up, uh, you know. <laughs> okay. So, um, I, I myself, I'm in, you know, I'm in loving mood actually. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm a very happy mood. Like, okay. So, um, before taking on the timer's report, I would like to give my own report and then um, I will come back to you. So, uh, I'll be taking three to five minutes. I, I might take more. <laughs> okay, so starting off with uh, the Sagittarius Arms. Like that. So many notes. Okay, Sergeant at Arms, Toastmaster Krishna started the meeting at time, um, I think uh, one minute later, 4.16 uh, 4 p.m. And he highlighted the grand rules of the meeting with enthusiasm and a warm smile. And uh, this is the first time I think uh, uh, we stated the, you know, the Toastmaster uh, mission statement of closing our eyes and putting our uh, hands out in, uh, in our heart and uh, you know, reading out out loud together, and that set a uh, tone uh, in the meeting. We were all, all in the same um, uh, room, and we are, we have the same objective for the meeting. So that was good done by you. And he was already there waiting at the gate to welcome everyone. I also noticed that that was a good part done by you. The presiding officer, Toastmaster Susanna, shared about the background of the Toastmaster and acknowledged the presence of the district officer. Uh, and uh, uh, though she is not here, I'd like to uh, give a suggestion of, for the uh, presiding officer that presiding officer was not to share the theme because that was solely the job of the Toastmaster of the evening that was to be done by her. So uh, please take note that presiding officer does not uh, talk about the theme before Toastmaster of the evening. The chair's theme, uh, Toastmaster Samani, had picked a theme uh, which is relevant for this season, spring, and what what a catchy title actually, butterfly, butterfly, which color do you like? It uh, brought back so many memories of our childhood. Uh, the exciting part of the spring was clearly explained, uh, followed by her own uh, childhood experiences. She even shared the uh, paper craft that she made and the this thing. What, what do you call this, this color? <laughs> butterfly, butterfly, wala, I don't know what. So we used to make that a lot, and uh, till date also we uh, I I make with my daughter and my students also do a lot of those kind of stuffs, and I have to take it away from them. Though <laughs> that's a different part of the story, but it is fun actually. I think uh, we all were able to relate to the uh, theme uh, today, and we were uh, taken back to the childhood memories with that butterfly thingy, right? Okay, and um, and she was also uh, she also played the music. She um, did some dance moves also, which uh, helped to lighten the, up the moment. And then we all enjoyed the song and the dance moves and all the things that she did. Um, and the last uh, part was the butterfly, butterfly only. And uh, which was also interesting, uh, she uh, she initiated, uh, you know, she engaged the participants of the meeting with her uh, team. So there are a few of the things that I would like to suggest her for the next time and for all the um, members present here today. Just master of the evening is the one who prepares the agenda sheet. So that was missing in today's meeting. I was looking at agenda sheet. Agenda sheet. I was like looking for it because uh, that is the uh, main part of the meeting, which sets a tone for the meeting. So that everyone comes to the meeting, looks at the agenda. Okay, this is the agenda for today. It started this and it's ended this, and uh, these are the things that are done to be done in 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 the meeting. So it's the solely job of the Toastmaster of the evening to prepare the agenda sheet before the meeting and to be distributed to all of the. Uh, members present in the meeting and it should be shared to the general evaluator as well before the meeting so that the general evaluator also knows about how it goes in the meeting, who are the speakers, what is the speaker's title and who are the evaluators and all of this. So please uh, take note of that. And moving ahead, um, uh, evaluators, uh, uh, evaluator that we have, uh, we have already given the um, feedback earlier and the 
uh, there was no feedback actually. I took the feedback from myself from him. I I got I got to learn a lot how to do the evaluation and how you know uh, he smoothly shifted his um, you know the feedback from uh, in a sandwich method from a positive way and everything was said was all, all positive. Talking about the table topic master, he did a uh, clever job in the, at the first by picking up um you know uh, a person a member he knew and then um then let the floor to the second and third um members and uh, the topics were also quickly taken and were quite interesting and he was also the one to do the educational session so wh while i heard about the educational session um I'm not the one, you know. I do. I am. I am. Uh, I belong to your educa educational field. But whenever I hear, hear this word, educational, uh, 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 <laughs> you know, I, I don't have a good vibe for that, you know. And uh, today's educational session was not educational session at all. It was. It was. It was. <laughs> not, I'm not that literally, you know. Uh, what I meant was, it was uh, more of a fun session uh, from which we learned a lot. Yes, there was, there was education in everything you do. That, that's a uh, part of the uh, thing. But uh, what I felt was, it was so engaging. Every, uh, you, uh, you were able to involve each and every one of the members present here and you were able to gather uh, you know, uh, positivity in everything you did over there and you went around, you, che you checked each and every table, you made sure that uh, everyone is doing their uh, you know, team collaboration activity and uh, it didn't feel like an education session but it felt like a team building activity, it was, it was, but it was more of fun, enlivening actually. Okay, <laughs> it was. <laughs> okay, um, yeah. So yeah, uh, about the timer. I'm moving on to the timer now. The the, the statement of the timer. Uh, she stated it well. But um, for the next meeting, um, it would always be a good idea to check for the timings and state properly, right? Mm, and that's about it, I guess. So I'm done with my uh, evaluation and I had a lovely time uh, being here in uh, the joint meeting of Whirling Toastmasters Club and Rathwanga Toastmasters Club and it was fun to be here and it feels like a second home actually. <laughs> it's quite near to us and we've been here two, three times. So it, it feels uh, it, you, it's a homely environment. Thank you. Thank you Toastmasters. <laughs> Oh, no, oh, I forgot the time is wrong. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, General Director. So, please, uh, timing, uh, put it like this. So, our meeting started at 4.17 pm. Toastmaster Krishna spoke for 2 minutes 11 seconds. Toastmaster Susanna spoke for 2 minutes 27 seconds. Toastmaster Samani so spoke for 16 minutes, 16 minutes 3 seconds. And Toastmaster Neva spoke for uh, 11, 11 minutes 30 seconds uh, and Margaret, Toastmaster Margaret spoke for 3 minutes 90 seconds. Toastmaster Pravis spoke in total uh, 1 minute 56 seconds and uh, he also spoke in educational uh, educational session. So he spoke there for 1 minute 56 seconds. Toastmaster Anjana spoke for 15 minutes 18 seconds. Toastmaster Saruz spoke for 2 minutes 10 seconds in general topic and in educational sessions he spoke for 17, he took the session for 17 minutes 51 seconds. Post Toastmaster Tony spoke for 1 minute 48 seconds. To, uh, our guest Rubina spoke for 2 minutes 30 seconds. Toastmaster Ono spoke for 1 minute 35 seconds. Toastmaster Prozor in evaluation session spoke for 3 minutes 6, six sessions and in uh, introduction session he spoke for 46 six seconds. So in total he spoke for 4 minutes 2 seconds. And Toastmaster Sujit spoke for 15 minutes 50 seconds in the introduction session and in uh, the education round uh, he spoke for 1 minute 7 seconds. And Toastmaster uh, Smithy in education round spoke for 1 minute 50 seconds and I spoke for 2 minutes 30 seconds. Thank you. Sir. Thank you, Toastmaster Srijana, for that elaborative report that you gave out there. Uh, now I would like to uh, request all of the members to vote for the better role takers. We start from SA, TAG, right? Timer, our counter, and the member. Over to you.
you can see your favorite song. Spring song. song. What do you say? Vasanta. 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 I think there's a song uh, with uh, the title Vasanta. Vasanta 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 Okay. I think it's called Vasanta, but uh, I'll start the song. Okay. <laughs> To a running skate, Dare Kazuto Rang in Sato. Nilai Angale Estola Gyoki, Mero Sansa Tini. Very Orkozun Mahunta Bane. Uh, without him, the meeting may not be enlivened as much. Uh, so, starting with the better speaker, as we already know, uh, Toastmaster Anjana. has already shared like uh, World Link is like a uh, second home for uh, the Ratha Bangla Toastmasters Club members and uh, uh, yes uh, this award would not have been possible without the members of World Link the disruptors who were actually <laughs> making the meeting enlivened as well as they have really helped me to boost my confidence that if I could give my deliver my speech in such a disruption of course I will be able to speak up at any platform and deliver my speech. So thank you so much for such a motivation. You are not a disruptor, you are a motivator. Thank you so much. <laughs> and uh, any guesses for today's for the topic is speaker. <laughs> okay. It's a boy. <laughs> it's a man. <laughs> he is uh, maybe taller than 5 feet 5 inch. <laughs> he is none other than Toastmaster Punit Mandar. Yes. No, 
my acceptance speech. Yes, please. <laughs> Thank you again. So this club has making an, been making an effort for me, for my representation in the mm -hmm. contest. Mm -hmm. And yeah, this is not the award uh, that I'm aiming for, but also I have, as, as I've said, the award that I'm aiming for is also for sure is not what I'm getting. <laughs> said, there are so many better speakers than me, but of course I'm so delighted that I'll be participating in that contest with all those better speakers whom I right now look up to. Uh, thank you for everyone who voted me and today was a very good session for me, at least for my confidence because this was a very unusual topic. <laughs> that was just a phrase. <laughs> thank you so much. I will give a topic master. Thank you everyone. Thank you for coming to this for his acceptance speech and the better role taker. Any guesses? Is she? Is she? Is she? Anyone? Toast she or she? Toastmaster. 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 She. 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 So without the role taker, this meeting may not be as uh, cheerful, enlightened. <laughs> so the the the, the Better role taker, our goes to Toastmaster Pravesh Shrestar. second award. Uh, I hope to get this award as a speaker too in the future. I guess. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you, Dr. Brunos, for his speech. I'm already here. <laughs> 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 Well, thank you so much for inviting me. This is the second time that I'm here. I was at Whirling during the first meeting. I, I'm happy that you guys remember that. Thank you so much. So it's always an honor to evaluate a fellow speaker who has a high caliber because it's hard to nitpick on things on what they might have fumbled upon. And it was very hard for me to nitpick on things that I could actually suggest those best ones. So I'd like to wish all the best to Toastmaster Anjana and I would also like to thank each and every one of you that had participated as the disruptor for today. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, finally I would like to call upon our presiding officer for her closing notes. Toastmasters of the evening, Toastmasters Samani for enlight for enliving this moment with the butterflies, spring colors and everything. Though sad the spring is over here in the room at the moment, but definitely not outside and not in our heart because spring has just started to blossom, isn't it? So thank you Toastmaster Anjana for your speech. It was really a wonderful speech with our great disruptor. Now we would call him great disruptor, <laughs> Toastmaster Anup, won't we? <laughs> So we did learn a lot from your speech today because we are still in our 18th meeting and we have still a lot to go, a lot to learn. Um, all the role takers for today, our guest, Toast, uh, Rubina, for coming and participating here, being a sport, giving a speech and everything. Thank you. We hope to, you to be a Toastmaster member in the days to come. Everyone who is here, uh, our evaluator, Toastmaster Projo, for taking time out and being here again, Toastmaster Soros, our area director for accepting our invitation and doing the hosting, doing this educational but yet a very lively fun session. Uh, we will definitely uh, do this do this session replica in our Berlin Learning Center as well. I hope uh, Toastmaster Krishna and Toastmaster Sujit will do this session in the days to come. So with this, let's end this meeting formally with this gavel.